what is going on guys in this video we are going to create complete e-commerce application from scratch where user will able to sign up and log in see all the products add products to the cart and buy the products and also we will have admin user who will upload the product details in the application so for this project we will be using jetpack compose as a front end and for the back end we will use firebase services such as firebase authentication firestore database firebase storage so you will learn a lot of things from this single application so let's start building this awesome application with with new android studio project so click on new project select empty activity that is jetpack compose activity click on next let's give the application name easy shop menu sdk let it be 8.0 build configuration language let it be the recommended one click on finish it will take some time to create our project so our project is created let's run the application in our emulator if you have emulator you can click over here or you can create new emulator from device manager over here so i have already created emulator too let's run the application as you can see we have hello android that means it is created correctly now let's start building our application so first thing what we will do first we will say hello to this greeting and let's delete this and also delete this greeting composable so first thing we will go to our package and inside our package we'll create a new package let's call it as screen so here we'll add all the screens and inside the screen we will say auth screen so this will be auth screen that means for login and sign up where we will show image and we will show the login and sign up button so let's call it as auth screen and create a file so here we can create composable auth screen so from main activity we have to come to earth screen so this will be our default screen so we will implement navigation so that we can go from one page to another page so for navigation we'll use jetpack compose navigation so for that what i will do i will create a file that will be app navigation it will be file and it will be composable let's call it as app navigation so in this composable we will implement the navigation so i have dedicated video where i have explained jetpack compose navigation in a separate video you can watch that here also we are going to integrate so first thing we need is nav controller so i will create nav controller from remember nav controller so by default we don't have this we have to add the dependency you can see over here add dependency let's click on add dependency so our navigation dependency is added now we need nav host so nav host so here if you see we have different option we have to select the option that has start destination we will not use nav graph we will use start destination so let's click on this so nav controller it will be nav controller and start destination we will provide first screen which will be our first screen so let's say we have this auth screen so we'll give it as a name auth so this will be our first screen so whenever the app will launch it will go to auth for this auth this is a name this is a string we have to link it with the composable so inside nav host we will link it with the composable so for that composable you can see over here we have route so in the route we will write auth and inside this we can pass composable so what is our composable that is auth screen so also we will pass the modifier so this will be modifier in this way you can create different screen like this we can do login and here we can create login screen that we will do later for now let's add only auth screen for now so let's go to main activity now and call this app navigation from there so in main activity here app navigation and modifier dot padding and it will be inner padding so now from main activity we are going to app navigation and in app navigation we are setting the start destination as auth auth means auth screen so it will come over here so how we will know let's write text let's say auth screen let's restart the application so you can see over here we have auth screen we have not added modifier to this screen that's why it is visible over here so this is auth screen so let's design this screen so for this i have one image that is this banner i will copy this image and paste it in the resource drawable paste it so we have this banner.png now let's design this auth screen so first thing we'll make a column and we'll provide modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and we'll give padding 32 dp from all sides so that we can get a nice padding so import it now inside this we'll design so first we'll add one image that is the banner so image painter we can pass painter resource r dot drawable dot banner so we need to import we need to import this r and we can pass banner 
and content description you can write anything let's write banner and let's make it on different line put arguments on separate line so if i run now we have to restart you can see we have image so for this column i will make vertical arrangement as center and horizontal alignment also center for this image also i will pass modifier modifier equals to modifier dot let's give the full width and let's give the specific height around 200 dp run it it is center and it has 200 height let's make it 300 so that it will look bigger now it's looking good now below this we'll add some text so first thing i'll give space so spacer modifier dot height around 20 dp and below this i'll write a text that will be start your shopping journey now let's say you can write anything you can see over here start your shopping journey now now let's style this text so i will use text style so text style and here i will pass font size let's say 30 sp import this sp font family i'll give mono space and font weight let's say bold or semi bold now if i refresh also let's align this so text align dot center so it will be aligned center now it's looking good so below this also we'll add one spacer and also i will add text and one more text i'll add so i'll copy this text below this let's say some tagline best ecom platform with best prices let's remove this font size family and weight everything only will align center you can style the text yourself now below this again spacer 20 dp and below this i will add a button that will be login button so i will give the text that will be login if i refresh you can see login button let's add modifier modifier equals to modifier dot fill max width we'll take full width and we'll give some height around 60 dp you can see we can increase the text size so in this login what we will do style text style or we can directly give font size 22.sp so we have button login so that we can go to login screen we'll add one more button for sign up it will be sign up and we'll give a spacer in between as well around 20 dp if i restart you can see login and sign up let's change the style of one button let's make the sign up button as outlined button so that it will look different yeah so we have login and we have sign up button so this is our application so right now we have not implemented on click so we have to implement that so whenever we click on login button it should go to login screen whenever we click on sign up button it should go to sign up screen so we don't have any screen so let's create those screens so in the screen we have auth screen so let me create one more that will be login screen so it will be file composable login screen in the same way we'll create one more that will be sign up screen file composable sign up screen so here we have created two screen now in app navigation we have to define those routes so we have defined auth let's copy it paste it here we'll define it as login and we'll call it as login screen so whenever we navigate to this route we'll go to login screen same way for sign up also let's say sign up sign up screen so whenever we navigate to this sign up it will go to sign up screen so now from this auth screen we want to navigate to login and sign up screen so how can we do that so for that we need nav controller as you can see over here we have already defined nav controller so now we have to pass this nav controller so that we can use it over there in the auth screen so what we will do simply we'll pass over here nav controller so it will give error because we don't have that parameter over there what we can do we can just add parameter from here let's click on this it will add the parameter if you go to auth screen we have this parameter now that is nav controller which is type which is of type nav host controller so with this nav controller we can navigate anywhere so here whenever we click on login screen in the to do in on click what we will do nav controller dot navigate where we want to navigate that is login that's it so whenever we click on login it will go to login screen same way for sign up as well nav controller dot navigate sign up in this way it will work so we have already defined in the app navigation that sign up means sign up screen login means login screen so if i run now if i click on login 
it will go to login screen we have not defined anything if i click on sign up it will go to sign up screen if you want to check you can do over here text login same way in the sign up screen sign up if i run now login see this is login page sign up this is sign up page. in this way it will work so in this way we have implemented app navigation we have created three screen we have designed auth screen this is our main screen whenever we launch the application it will show this and from here we can go to either login page either sign up page so that's all for this video in next video we will design the sign up screen and login screen and also we'll connect to the firebase project so that we can create account in the firebase and also we can do login so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you on the next video bye bye